sort this out mm. ah, there we go now that i'm clean shaven it's about time that i'll show you what i've been up to during my long absence ba -ba -ba -ba! it's a giant hole and as you can see the fortress is starting to poke out this is looking great where's my pigling what I didn't mean to do that. Oh wait, there were actually blazers here. Oh, okay, wait, I think I know what happened. Okay, so yeah, I've been uh, chipping away at each chunk, bit by bit, piece by piece, draining every single drop of lava out of this gigantic hole. And now I can just stand and stare at this amazing vista. And to think it's actually going to get bigger. However, I am getting bored of this. So uh, I'm just going to leave this for now. And I'm going to go work on something else. Uh, okay, so let me just say there's no shenanigans going on here. I didn't cheat or anything. You are, are not deceiving you. The pigling I thought I lost by a blaze attack is somehow back. I don't know how this happened, but I am not going to look a gift horse in the mouth, so let me just do... Oh, this is not normal. Ah, okay, well, I thought I could cover him up. Wait, maybe I can just do this. Oh, <sighs> oh of course. Okay, I'll, I'll cover him up. Okay, and so uh, here's where I actually want to begin. This used to be my old storage area. This is where the... Iron would fall down when I had my old farm. I did touch it up a bit, but uh, now this area is practically useless. Apart from the bed. But uh, I actually opened this up because down here, there's actually a nice little cave system. With a bunch of enderman droppings, apparently. And a zombie. But, uh, yeah. Other than this, I think I need to just enclose this entire area right here because it's 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 just a waste of space really if that's the correct way to put it but uh, let me get right onto this <laughs> Okay, that clears up that hole, and uh, now it's on to, I think, I need to actually sort out my storage here, because I actually want to make this brick platform a much bigger, and I don't want that stuff getting in the way. And I also think I need to tackle these, and by tackle I mean take them down, because I think they're just going to get in the way. So I need to just take those chests, put them here, and just get them out the way. So let's get right onto it. Okay, quick update. Uh, 
got my storage all set up over here and now I'm just gonna take this down and then I think yeah let's get right on to doing this one okay so now that uh, that's taken care of I want to move on to trying to build the platform here and uh, as you can see here I've got some flowing water and I thought it would be best if I actually just built a one high block wall around here because uh, yeah I don't uh, I don't want to risk breaking this and then water floor falling all over the outside of the platform and uh, over here I might possibly dig out see I've already started to place down blocks here but looking at it now I might need to go at the back here yeah and then I'll most likely dig this grass up and I'm actually thinking of actually getting rid of this whole thing but uh, I suppose it'll probably be a problem for another time and so the platform is now done and I gotta say I'm really starting to like this look instead of it being just you know like a jambled mess with just random blocks all over the place actually while I'm here let me just put this lava back not that it matters because there's only two villages up there I'm leaving them like that on purpose because I don't want golems spawning in here while I'm you know building around here but uh, this is a very good start next up on my list I'd like to try and build a nice little room here where you know I can actually get some access to the iron and this is actually a real pain I have to come here do this and then put them in chest over here but uh, as as I've done earlier I actually have other plans to do with that and uh, I actually think it's about time that I actually put in a filter system so as you can see I've been uh, clearing the space out trying to make uh, well trying to figure out how to do this I've also done a little bit of uh, work here trying to figure out how the structure is going to come out and I'm actually confident because I think I've actually got a nice idea so with that in mind let's head on into a time lapse I don't think so yeah so this is a gigantic mess I need to fix which I'm gonna do right now actually why am I using cobblestone oh. there we go all done yeah so as you can see right here I've managed to spruce this thing up and it looks actually kind of nice so let me show you what I've done here 
Uh, here is a composter. This is for where all the poppies are going to go into. And uh, this will hopefully make some foam meal. Yay. And then I've got one, two, three. All dedicated to iron only. As you can see there. Nice little filters going on here. I'm worried that uh, rotten flesh is going to get stuck here, but no, I doubt it's not going to be much of a problem. Uh, still got a lot of stuff to think about, but one thing I do want to do is put the doors in. Boom! Now I really feel protected. We're not done yet, I uh, still need to figure out a place where to put all these iron blocks and I've got an idea, I'm thinking of putting a silo over here and this is what uh, these blocks are here for. So my idea is to put, obviously make iron blocks here and then put a chest around here and get a dispenser to shoot out the iron blocks that goes underground and then shoots them all the way up top the silo and then I'll obviously have some indicators to show me how full the chests really are and yeah, I think it will look cool so let me just get right on to it Everything is coming along very nicely. I'm in spectator mode because I need to show you that I made a little contraption right over here. And as you can see, this little chest leads into a dispenser, which leads into a redstone clock, which then spits items out into this little stream and puts it all the way right up into the silo which has just got 10 double chests connected to it. Yeah, so in case you haven't figured it out, I actually decided to make a little stream that goes all the way into the silo, so I don't have to run and open chests like so, and uh, basically what I'm going to do is take the iron from this chest, go here, make it into iron blocks, and then, for convenience, just gonna do that. And there they go. Oh, no. Back onto there. And then, as you can see, they shoot up into the stream, into the little path here, and then they go into the chests right down. Yeah, if I can just. Uh, there we go. And there we go. And that just makes things a whole lot easier for me to do. So that was pretty cool. Now all I need to do is just cover this up. Yeah, what I want to do here now is actually cover these guys up because every time I start a raid, I always get afraid that the raiders are actually going to shoot these guys. So I'm just going to cover these guys up with glass. You know, so I can see if they're still in here or not. Alright, I think I'm about done here. I mean, all I need to do next is just put in the villager and then this farm should be running just as it did before. But I'm actually uh, glad I actually did this because I really need to get off that hole digging because I was going slightly mad over it. And secondly, I really need to clean this thing up because it's just been an awful mess since since I actually built this thing. And now it just looks much, much, much cleaner than it did before. So, yay. But that's it now. I'm done. I'll be checking you out in the next episode. Funny enough, I've actually been away from the hole so long, I'm actually eager to get straight back to digging. Yeah, that's super weird. But uh, anyway, that's me. I'm done. And I'll check you guys later. Bye.